Hello students, welcome to short dental concept video session on Medico Apps. And the topic of discussion today is the Federation Dentarine International or the FDI Tooth Numbering System. Now, before understanding this particular topic, what is the significance? I want you to subscribe our YouTube channel and that is done by hitting the bell icon so that whenever I discuss such kind of important dental concepts or the MCQ discussions, you will be notified. So let's start by first hitting the bell icon and then understanding this important international system which is used to number the tooth. So if I use the term FDI system, what do you understand by that? So basically, it's a tooth numbering system which is given and the significance is that because we want to know and we should know the numbering system. We cannot openly or we cannot easily say that uh, how will you uh, signify or how will you identify a particular tooth in the oral cavity. That's a very, very basic question which you, you must be wondering from the, from the day you have started and you have joined the dentistry. So for that, lot of scientists had worked over this and we have number of numbering systems, tooth numbering systems in that context. But here today, the FDI tooth numbering system we are going to discuss is very easy, first of all and it is universally accepted. Second significant or second advantage of this FDI system is and this is one of the most important questions which are usually asked in your viva as well as in your examination also. The theoretical examination as a short note question can be asked through this particular topic. So let's start by understanding what is this FDI system and this FDI system is also known as two digit system and why do we call it as two digit number or two digit system? I'll also tell you that you will actually understand once you understand this entire concept. So this two digit system or the FDI system was given in the year 1970. Okay, it was given in the year 1970 and this system has been adapted by both the WHO and IADR, the International Association of Dental Research. So that means it is an it is a universally accepted tooth numbering system. Now, if I say that FDI is a two two digit system, what do you understand by that? So if I ask you a question that why do we call it as two digit system? It is because the FDI system uses two digits for each of the tooth. Okay, it uses two digit. How they they are going to use it? I'll just explain you. Now, this two digit is used for each tooth in case of both permanent and primary. That means in the permanent uh, in the permanent teeth as well as in the deciduous tooth. Now, for that the tooth numbering system works by dividing the mouth, the oral cavity into four quadrants. So as you can see in this image, we have divided the, the oral cavity. If this is your oral cavity, so we have divided it into four quadrants. How? So if this is the right and this is the left, so we will start by one, two, three, four. This is the FDI tooth numbering system as by dividing the oral cavity into four quadrants one two three four now how does this work so for that if i say that it's a two digit uh, system and it is using two digits for single tooth what do you understand by that two digits we are using so the first digit here if x and y are two digits we are using so the first digit here denotes the quadrant now how is the quadrant divided i have just explained you that the oral cavity will be divided into four quadrants now how is the quadrant divided so we have divided the quadrant and we will start numbering the quadrant clockwise now clockwise means we will start it from the right side so we have numbered it one two three four likewise one two three four and in the same manner, these two images are showing. One, two, three, four. Now, each quadrant means I am talking the maxillary right, first quadrant, maxillary left, second quadrant. The mandibular uh, left is third quadrant and mandibular right is your fourth quadrant. I hope you have understood that. And the same line here, it is mentioned that for permanent dentition, each quadrant is assigned from one to four do 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 remember this that the permanent dentition is 
marked or it is denoted by 1 to 4. 1 to 4 digit is given for permanent dentition and it is done by clockwise manner and to and to easily remember it started from your right side. Okay. Now, this is for the permanent teeth. What about the deciduous teeth? So, for deciduous teeth, the same rule follows and the only difference that comes from the deciduous and permanent teeth is that here the numbers which are assigned are once we have finished the permanent that was still 4. Now the next number will definitely be 5. So we will start it by 5, 6, 7, 8 and the same thing you can see here. This is for the primary 5, 6, 7, 8. So I hope this is clear to you that for permanent, uh, for the permanent dentition, we are going to assign four numbers, one to four for each quadrant and for, for the primary or the deciduous dentition, we are going to assign it from five to eight. That is five, six, seven, eight. So I hope this first digit of this X value is now clear to you that how we have designated or how we have grouped the quadrants in the oral cavity. Now, what about the second digit? So, the second digit here denotes the tooth. Now, what do you understand by that? So, I have told you X denotes the quadrant. Okay. Now, what does the Y denotes? It denotes the tooth. Now, tooth, how many tooth are present in a oral cavity in the uh, in an adult patient? 32 teeth are there. Now, if you divide 32, how many uh, teeth will be there in one quadrant? Definitely, there will be 8 teeth in one quadrant. So it is very easy to understand that again we are dividing it into four quadrants and each teeth have eight quadrant each quadrant has eight teeth. So the permanent dentition the numbering will be from one to eight. Okay because uh, because the each quadrant is having eight teeth in its quadrant. Okay. And how you are you are going to start it from? We are going to start it from the incisors, the central incisor. Now for this, if I am saying that I have divided the oral cavity into four quadrants, how I am going to divide it? So, I am definitely going to use the midline of our body. And through midline, I have divided into two better halves. The right side and the left side and the maxillary and mandibular are dividing it horizontally. So, I hope you are now understanding it that from the central incisor. So, if I am starting my count from right side, the first right central incisor, I will be counting it as 1. The lateral incisor on the right side maxillary will be 2. So, if you see this image, the first central incisor is your 1-1. One, one. Why? Because this is the first quadrant and here this is the right side, this is the left side, this is the maxillary, this is the mandible. I hope you are understanding that. So, 1-1 one, one is your central incisor, LI that is the lateral incisor. So, 1, this is the quadrant number. 1, that is your tooth number. How we are numbering? You have, I hope you have understood that we have started our numbering from the central incisor and that is going till your third molar. So, if you count, your numbering from the first molar from your first central incisor so the central incisor is number one two three four and that goes on till third molar and in the same image here you can see the central incisors the lateral incisors canines first premolar second premolar first molar second molar and third molar so this is how we number the permanent dentition from one to eight so the first digit is your quadrant which we have divided and the second digit is your tooth number which we ha which I have just counted with you. Now, the same rule follows for the deciduous teeth also. But here, you know that the deciduous teeth does not have premolars. So, how will you be, so what will be the numbers? So, definitely if you remove the third molar, what are the teeth which are not present in our deciduous dentition? The two premolars are not present and the third molar is not present. So, how many teeth are to be removed? The th three teeth are removed. So, if three teeth are removed from the deciduous dentition, what are the teeth which are remaining? So, there is central incisor, lateral incisor, the canines, the first, the first molar and the second molar. So, how many teeth are there in deciduous dentition in one quadrant? There are five teeth which are present in the deciduous dentition 
so that means we have 20 teeth in the deciduous dentition and if we divide it into 4 how many teeth will be there in one quadrant 5 teeth will be there simple calculation and you don't have to get even confused with this FDI system so the first digit shows the quadrant second digit shows the tooth number and the tip numbering will start from midline to the posterior region which I have already told you that I have started my tooth numbering the second digit is starting from my midline that is the first and last one is your third molar that is your posterior side so I hope you have understood these two digit uh, the two digit system the two digit numbering system and specifically I have again uh, just made you a differentiation for permanent and deciduous dentition permanent for the first digit it's quadrant and second it is the type of tooth denoted in the quadrant and now you can see the oral cavity here it is very easy to understand this is your maxillary this is your mandible this is upper right and this is upper left so upper right is your maxillary right maxillary left this is lower left that is your mandibular and lower right that is your mandibular right so this is how we have divided it from the midline okay so this is your central incisor this is your central incisor the right side and left side central incisor and similarly if you move to the primary dentition or the or the deciduous dentition we has we have designated it the oral cavity into the two parts this is maxillary this is mandibular this is right this is left this is central incisor this is central incisor for the left side for the maxillary left side now if i ask you a question that what do you understand by one six what will be your answer and how will you answer it so the answer will be that we have to answer it that this particular tooth number 1-6 means that it is permanent maxillary right first molar. In the same sequence, you have to mention the FDI system. And what is that se sequence? Firstly, we have to mention that the, the tooth is primary or permanent. Okay, that is your first key point. The second point you have to mention is by knowing the quadrant number. Now quadrant, if I'm saying one, that means it is maxillary. That is the second point which you have to remember. Now, if I'm saying one, that means we have started from the right side. I have already told you. So that is the third point which you have to mention. And lastly, coming to the tooth number. So what is your tooth number? So that is your first molar. So I hope you are now able to recognize just men, I'm just giving you another example that how will you define it so if I'm asking you and if I'm giving you two four what do you understand by this just come on answer me for this so yes this is a second quadrant so the here I'm mentioning a permanent the permanent maxillary left side what is your fourth the first is central lateral canine and fourth is your premolar so here i have discussed about first premolar so it is permanent maxillary left first premolar that is your two for four okay so i hope this is how you have understood the fdi system now there are certain advantages i have already mentioned that it is wor worldwide accepted it is easy for you and it is the only method which can make visual cognitive and computer sense each tooth has a separate number because we are numbering it separately secondly it prevents error when differentiating between the left side and right side because we have differentiated the quadrants and it is easy to transmit over the computer and easy for charting but it can be only be confused by ada number for that you need to refer my other lecture that what exactly is this ada number ada is nothing but it is we are giving it the entire number of the oral cavity is just numbered by from 1 to 32 we have not divided into quadrants that is your ada number so i hope you have understood this fdi uh, tooth numbering system it is very easy and i have made it little easier for you to understand so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such kind of important easy discussions on important dental concepts and you can also join our exclusive whatsapp group on www.medicoapps.org slash group so that whenever i upload such kind of important dental concepts you will be easily notified for that 
and the link of this group is given below in this description of the video so keep watching our video thank you good day good luck